Let's continue our study of complex numbers by looking at addition and subtraction. Adding complex numbers is really simple. It's just a skill from Algebra 1. You simply combine like terms. The real portion goes with the real portion, and the imaginary portion goes with the imaginary portion. So, for example, I have two complex numbers there. The first one is negative 5 plus 8i. The second one is negative 6 minus 4i. All I have to do is identify the like terms. So I have a negative 5 and a negative 6. So that's negative 5 plus a negative 6. Those are our real portions of the complex numbers. So negative 5 plus negative 6 is negative 11. And then I identify the imaginary portion. So I have 8i, and I'm adding that to a negative 4i. So 8i plus a negative 4i is going to be a positive 4i. And there it is. That's all there is to adding complex numbers. You just combine the like terms. Subtracting is the same way, except what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to distribute that negative to everything in the second parentheses. So what do I mean by that? It's like distributing a negative 1. So we have two complex numbers, negative 11 minus 17i, and we have 14 minus 13i, and we're subtracting them. So I have negative 11 minus 17i, and then I'm subtracting the other complex number, so I'm going to just distribute that negative. So a negative times a positive 14 is going to give me a minus 14, and a negative times a negative 13i is going to give me a positive 13i. And now I just combine the like terms. I have negative 11. I have negative 14. Those are both just real numbers. So I have minus 11 minus 14. So negative 11 minus 14 is just negative 25. And then now I look at the imaginary ones. I have i and i. So I have a negative 17i plus 13i. So negative 17i plus 13i is going to just give me a negative 17 plus 13 is negative 4i. So the answer is just negative 25 minus 4i. This is just like when we did it with variables in Algebra 1. Before we end, try this. We have three complex numbers. Again, though, it's just combining like terms or distributing a negative if you need to. Hopefully you got this one right. Where the mistakes usually happen is right here with the subtraction. Again, you have to give that negative to everything in the parentheses. So it's like distributing a negative 1. So this becomes a negative times 3, which is minus 3, and a negative times a negative 7i, which becomes a plus 7i. From there, you're just combining all the real terms, and you're just combining all the imaginary terms. And you should have gotten 8 minus 4i. And really, that's all there is to adding and subtracting complex numbers.